a young woman dead. Shocking revelations daily while the cops are investigating this case where Aftab managed to evade the law for six months. And finally, with some details coming in one by one, they are putting together evidence. The forensic team on Thursday of the Delhi police took Aftab to the apartment also where he had strangled the girl. But this precisely are the visuals coming in from the Meheroli forest of the investigators. This, remember, is the area near to their apartment in Chhatrapur in Delhi where uh, it appears that he allegedly disposed of some of the body parts of this young woman on your screen, Shraddha, who she was in love with and, uh, was de and had decided to live with him. And despite an abusive relationship had stayed on, <coughs> but it appears that eventually it led to her killing after an argument over marriage. Investigators have been daily going uh, to the Meheroli forest uh, with, of course, with the accused there to find out about the body parts. Remember, we are talking about the six-month margin time. The murder appears to have happened between May and June. For the next six months, there was no clarity where this girl is. It was when some of her friends started to become suspicious that she's not confirming directly that she's alive, that they approached the father and then the cops eventually. Forensic team says they have found traces of blood in the kitchen. Also, that there are some bones allegedly that have been found inside the drain. But police needs to find now some corroborative evidence from the bedroom and bathroom. But it appears that he had chemically cleaned the apartment over the past few months. Police sources have revealed that Aftab chopped Shraddha's body into pieces inside the bathroom. Delhi police will be asking for an extended uh, police custody for five more days. Have also got court's approval to conduct a narco-analysis examination of the accused. The cops will also be taking Aftab to Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand where the young couple appears to have spent a brief time. But with shocking details emerging, it appears that there was a mobile phone that Shraddha had. And even after, after the murder, Aftab continued to use that phone to delete specifically data from her mobile. Now the investigators, remember, have managed to gather a lot of evidence, but there are some missing links as well. Uh, they want to ensure that they do have the body parts in place of which the DNA testing will be done and matched with the father of Shraddha. India Today's Akshay Dongre has been tracking all the latest of this case. Akshay, what are the investigators presently saying? Because it's been six months. They say accused is not very cooperative. Can the narco-analysis examination is what they depend heavily on now? Well, uh, Pooja, uh, as far as the entire investigation period is concerned, we are talking about, uh, as you rightly mentioned, a period of about six months, uh, starting uh, May mid, uh, where when uh, Shraddha Walker was allegedly killed by uh, by Aftab, and then uh, her body was dismembered and thrown uh, across uh, the forest in in Mehroli area, in Mehroli Chhatrapur area. Now, uh, you have rightly mentioned that. Uh, the six-month period becomes extremely difficult uh, for, for the police to, in fact, verify a lot of evidences. Now, we're talking about some major evidences that include the murder weapon that now police are confirming, police sources are confirming that they haven't yet found the saw that was used to chop uh, Shraddha Walker's body. Uh, second thing is most of her body parts, more importantly, her skull that has yet not been found. And the third thing is mobile phone of Shraddha Walker. Now, uh, Reminding our viewers about the entire investigation and how the crack, how this case cracked open, the police initially, when questioned Aftab, he tried to mislead the police, stating that uh, Shraddha left him uh, somewhere around May. And that exactly is the reason uh, that police got suspicious because 18th May was the date that he gave, 18 to 20 May was the date that he gave that Shraddha Walker left her. However, there was a transaction of about 54,000 rupees from Shraddha's account at, uh, and that, that the location of that particular transaction showed to be in the exact area where Aftab lives.